Globally, about one-third of all diarrheal deaths in children under five will occur because of rotavirus. And of those deaths, half of the cases are here in Africa. Yeah, in Tanzania, rotavirus is one of the common causes of uh, water in diarrhea. Forty percent of the cases of diarrheas in all over Sudan are due to rotavirus. بعدين بشوف إنه جسمه مترمس كده أيوه بس كان بيجيش إسهال شديد مع استقرار يعني برضه ما زال هسه أنا لما أشوف تعبان بكون أنا تعبانة شديد مقلقة قلق شديد going to severe dehydration we have seen uh, the similar picture in the rest of Africa fortunately we have new vaccines that can prevent many of these deaths for the first time we are bringing these new vaccines to the poorest countries of Africa to the children of the world who need them most it started in Sudan soon will be coming to Tanzania and then all across Africa before the introduction of the rota virus vaccine several preparations have to be made for it to take on smoothly Well, to have a new vaccine into an immunization system, many preparations were required. First of all, the cold chain had to be upgraded and expanded to be able to store these vaccines at the right temperature and to be able to distribute them around the country. This is the new vaccine store where we'll store the rotavirus and the other new vaccine which will be coming. And we do calculate um, the capacity available at all levels, the national, the subnational, up to the district level. We shall find a good storage in your facility for keeping this vaccine in a better and a good conditions. Secondly, staff had to be trained. We've been uh, hearing a lot about rotavirus. We've been attending a lot of uh, seminars uh, concerning rotavirus vaccination. And uh, you should have to learn it and know it and how to administer it. Sudan is a country that has 1,850 health centers and the outreach centers. That means many people to be trained, many people to, to be initiated you know, to, to, this, to this new vaccine. In fact, an army of people will have to be trained in order to roll out rotavirus in Tanzania. And uh, thirdly, also logistics had to be upgraded, let's say, in the country. So new registers had to be prepared, immunization cards had to be printed so that proper recording and monitoring and evaluation of the introduction of this vaccine can uh, take place. The community need also to know that this vaccine is coming and we need to do a lot of adv advocacy activities. So that the people know there is a new vaccine that's coming and they need to bring their children on this specific age before the children pass the age. It means we will try to give health education for new introduction of that vaccine to our pregnant women to our couples who are attending to our clinic and even if in the community. The opportunity, really, it, it, it was a great opportunity, golden opportunity to Sudan that being supported by that. While the prices of the vaccines have come down to a fraction of what they cost, still the financial support that Gavi provides makes money no longer an obstacle. In addition, Gavi Alliance plays a critical role in ensuring that donors around the world know that vaccines are the most cost-effective health intervention. أنا سعيدة جدا بإدخال لقاح الروتا. أنا طبعا كنت مبسوطة شديد إن أنا مشيت أول يوم وسكت بيتي وديت الجرعة الأولى. أنا سعيدة جدا ولذيذة عشان العلاج ده عشان ينفعه عشان اللي هو أي ألم في باطنه ده. There's a lot of excitement for doctors. When I feel very happy, I feel totally excited. So excited. So excited. A lot of mothers will be very happy. But I'm very happy, very, very happy because soon we will start to provide the rotavirulence vaccine in our clinic. I'm thinking that this intervention will make our life better, will make the future of our children better. Thank you.